Hello artists, today we're going to make a picture inspired by Paul Klee. And Paul Klee was an artist from Switzerland who did something called cubism. So he made his pictures out of shapes, shapes that have names. These are called geometric shapes, things like squares, triangles, circles. For our project, we're using squares, triangles, and rectangles. You will all have a big piece of paper. I need you to write your name on that piece of paper and flip it over. Your table will have a pan full of lots and lots of squares. Now you heard me say this will be made from squares and triangles and rectangles. Our job is we're trying to build a castle. I want you to pick out eight squares, any color you want. Yes, colors can repeat if you want them to. So pick out eight squares to start with from your tray and then leave the tray alone. In order to take a square and make it into a rectangle, if I want it to be perfectly even, I can fold it in half, open it up again, and then cut on the fold. Now I have two rectangles from that square. Let me do it one more time. Fold it in half, open, cut on the fold. So now I have some rectangles to work with. If I take this piece, right now it's a square. If I turn it, it's a diamond. I'm going to fold it so my corners are touching. That made a triangle. If I open it, and cut on the line. Now I have two triangles. And they don't have to stay this size. If I wanted, I could have this one be a big triangle. And if I fold it again and I cut, it'll give me, what will it give me? It'll give me two smaller triangles. So if we're making a castle, these are great for the tops of the castle. And then we have all these squares. So once you have your pieces cut, this is kind of like a puzzle. So you get to lay your pieces down and figure out where you want things to go on your castle. And if it turns out that you need more rectangles, you can make them. And I put these on here. If you end up not needing all the pieces, that's okay too. And rectangles don't have to just go up and down. They can lay different directions. And I can put one triangle here and there. Does that look kind of like a castle? Now we glue. So I pick up my square. I'm putting glue on the outside edges. Did I smear glue all over my paper? No. Did I put glue on the outside edge of my rectangle or, or my square? Yes. Lay it down, massage, and then repeat for your other pieces. So pick it up, put a little glue on it, lay it down, massage. Remember with our good friend the glue stick? Glue stick is shy. Glue stick does not like to stick up very far. So we just turn it up a teeny tiny bit from the edge. We do not need to crank it up all the way because then Mr. Glue stick gets sick and makes a big mess all over the place. You know what? I think I'm going to use that last piece after all. Now, I'm not going to make this into rectangles if I fold it in half and open it. And fold it in half again. Then when I cut on those lines, what will I have? I will have smaller squares. And those smaller squares would make excellent castle windows. I do not expect your castle to look just like mine. I want it to look like your very own unique castle, one of a kind. And since our artist did have 
a sun in the picture, if you would like to take your crayons and add something up in the sky, then you may.